I'm 27 years old. I'm from a village called Ndageni in Tabankulu in the Eastern Cape. I grew up in this village with my siblings as well as my aunt. So I was the first one to go to university amongst my siblings. My aunt worked at the Department of Agriculture. She was an agric advisor, so I was a bit exposed to careers in the Department of Agriculture. But I chose plant pathology specifically because it was quite an interesting subject for me. I didn't know that plants can get diseases and you can study something as plant diseases. I'll give a big thanks to the Maze Trust for, uh, firstly because if it was not for them, I wouldn't have been able to do my masters because they, I wouldn't have had the money. Also to my course supervisor, Dr. Bongani Kubega, he encouraged me a lot during my masters, even when there were times like, I, I'm tired, this is hard, I want to drop out, he was there for me. So even uh, also my aunt for supporting me, she loves um, anything that come, that has to do with education. So every time I want to study something, she always there to support. Agriculture is very broad and uh, there are so many opportunities, uh, different careers that you can go for in agriculture. It's not the, uh, most people, young people, especially the black people, they think when you're studying agriculture, it's, it, it's, it's a dirty job. You're going to be dirty all your life. So they don't believe you when you are in office and doing agriculture work. So it's a very diverse um, field. You, you can actually be successful. There are so many opportunities because we have problems such as food insecurity, we have poverty. And if young people, take up careers in agriculture they can be able to come up with solutions that can be a, that will help us as a country to overcome such problems the maze trust was quite um, helpful especially during the COVID times because there were times when i was confused uh, i didn't know if i was going to be able to finish my studies because there were times where we had to stop going to campus we had to stop uh, doing experiments but they they were quite supportive they they did regular checkups they they were consistent they paid on time so that you can be able to pay your accommodation and buy your food so they were it was quite a seamless process